Do you want to give up drinking? Or perhaps you just want to cut back? Well, here's how I did it and how you can do it too. Alcohol is fucking everywhere. And if you've ever tried to give it up, then you probably know the feeling all too well. It's 5 p.m., it's been a long day, and you've got that hankering for a beer. And you think to yourself, why on earth did I choose today to give it up? There's no doubt that quitting or just cutting back can be incredibly difficult. But, like equally, it's so goddamn bad for us. The medical literature is clear. Alcohol is addictive, it's a type 1 carcinogen, and there's no safe level of consumption. I want to make it explicitly clear I'm not here to espouse some high and mighty virtues and I'm not here to judge. Rather, I want to share how I gave up the grog and changed my relationship to alcohol. This video, you know, it's really aiming at people who are social drinkers or occasional drinkers, which was what I considered myself to be. Someone who has, you know, a few beers on a Friday, Saturday night and is perhaps a little bit sick of waking up just that bit dusty. If you feel like you might have a problem with alcohol, sure this video may help but I would encourage you to get some professional help as withdrawal is best done with medical supervision. I will leave some links in the description below to areas where you can get help with your alcohol consumption and some tools you can use to get a better idea of what your level of drinking is and whether it's risky or dangerous. Culturally like alcohol is nuts it's it's probably the only drug we have to apologize for not taking and last year when I tried to give it up I quickly failed. Exams were just around the corner, that called for a celebration. Oh, and I had a friend's birthday, a celebration. I was stressed out. Yeah, I definitely needed a drink to unwind. I had no plan, I had little real commitment, and I had every excuse in the book as to why I could make it a problem for future you. And despite this, I, I couldn't help but shake the feeling that I really did need to give alcohol the boot. And so I tried again. Surprisingly, this attempt turned out to be a lot more effortless than my previous endeavor. If you want to do something, then you really need a why. There must be a truly compelling reason to undertake something significant. For me, sure, I'd like to understand the experience of my patients better, but this is somewhat academic and ultimately the outcome of the experiment. I'm doing it because what motivates me is competition and the desire to perfect an interaction or a process. I want to perform, I want to develop my social skills, and I want to be the best doctor I can be. I can't do this hungover. These bad boys were an absolute game changer. The first time I failed largely because I didn't have a plan. It wasn't good enough to say, I'll just stick to the guidelines or I'll give it up because it gave me zero direction. Who would I tell? What could I drink? What was my focus when I went out? Instead, I found quality substitutes like alcohol-free beer, which I could drink when I attended social events. And I would attend these events with the intention of developing my social skills, of aiming to have fun interactions, of learning about the other and just enjoying their company. I wasn't there to anesthetize the experience with a drink. Finally, I realized that both of these strategies were useless unless I made a firm commitment to a new identity. Ultimately, I needed to change the way I saw myself in relation to the behavior. Sure, the why and the plan help immensely, but I needed to become a person who just no longer does the behavior. I'm not someone who is trying, I'm not someone who is giving up. I'm a person who no longer does it, no longer drinks. As you might expect, this is really fucking hard. A commitment to a new identity means leaving the old self behind. It required an open acknowledgement that the old self, despite my best intentions, was not making the right choices and I wasn't as competent as I thought myself to be. This is really rather terrifying to confront and it does require a level of vulnerability that myself and many others don't often experience day to day. So I guess I would like to ask you, what's your relationship to alcohol? What's your identity in relation to alcohol? What I find really interesting though is that I think that these three lessons can be applied to anything, any type of behavior change. It doesn't really matter what change you want to make, 
But if you have a solid plan, a why for doing it, and a commitment to that new identity, then it's probably pretty hard to go wrong. What do you think? Leave a comment below, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's just a small channel for now, but we do grow one click at a time, so thank you. Peace.